Hello guys, today's tutorial is a quick one, but it is a very powerful one. This technique we will see today, we will help you to make smooth animations like these. You see these lines here in the lake that go big and then small uh, randomly and also very smoothly. This smooth animation can be done usually with modifiers in Blender, but today we will see a trick that can make smooth animation random animations automatic animations using the regular modifiers we will learn to make a simple animation like this and also a more complex smooth automatic animation so let's start okay we are here in a new 2d animation file we have the stroke object here i kept only the lines layer let's bring the strength to one and the radius to 50. we will draw first Align with the line tool here. This is how I drew my lines in the lake. So enter and then let's draw another one. Why not? And then we will draw some freestyle like this, like this with the pen tool. Okay. Now we will add a modifier, the length modifier. We will go to random offsets here and then enter it to randomize. Let's change the random offset here to I think one will control one end of the line and the other will control the other end of the line. Yeah, this one also controls the length that we want, the maximum length, I guess. Okay, so we have this animation here. The step in the randomize, if you are familiar with the noise modifier, it's like every four frames, we will have a random change in our lines. But we don't need these four steps. We'll change it to just one. And I want to just have five steps. So I will end my animation at frame five. We will have five random changes that occur one frame after another. We do this because now we will bake our animation. If you have like four steps here and a longer animation, we will have a lot of useless frames. All those frames in between the changes will be the same frames and we will have to delete them later. So now I guess I need to go to object mode and then we go here to objects and then to animation and to this it's called bake object transform to grease pencil so let's hit this one we have this menu here i guess the defaults are okay so we hit okay here you will notice also that blender added a new object that means that our original object was not touched by the baking so we still have it and we can use it as a backup and now we will work with our new object we don't want of course the student change we want the smooth animation change the end here to 25 let's just do multiply by 5 and then let's go to frame 1 and select all these frames and use the resize button s resize and here we are and you may have guessed all we need to do now is to do some interpolation i want a smooth looping animation so i will duplicate the first frame to the end and then i think i'm gonna change the length of my animation again to 31 why not let's go between two frames here go to edit mode or to draw mode and go to draw here interpolate sequence if you are in edit mode you go i think to stroke or no to grease pencil interpolate sequence or you can just use shift ctrl e so shift ctrl e and voila let's do ctrl z okay and let's do it again so Control shift e here we have this menu here you can make some changes here i just want to change the type from linear to custom and then do some ease in here you can of course keep it as linear it's also fine now let's go between the next two frames Control shift e and if you go to this menu here you see that our last settings were kept so that's good again here Control shift e i think it doesn't work if your cursor is here so you have to have your cursor here then and again here Control shift e and 
Here we go. So this is it. I guess you got it. Let's just do it one more time with another modifier. Let's delete all these frame XT and then go to frame one. Uh, do you know about the shortcut to just go to frame one instantly? Let's go to draw mode. Let's draw a circle. Enter and then let's draw a square. Enter. So we have these two shapes here. And now let's add a noise modifier. We change the noise scale here and we will also do more and change the strange that is the transparency of the vertices and also the thickness randomness and of course randomize is activated we change the step just like we did before to one and the frames to just i don't think we need to change this i think i will change them in the settings of the bacon okay so noise scale and thickness and strange so we have these two shapes with randomness you see how it works it changes very fast 24 frames per second we will go again to object mode objects animation bake object transform to grease pencil and change this it is already yes and frame to frame 5 that's good so okay you see that the transparency is not visible that is because we have our original grease pencil object here so let's hide it Let's select them again. S to resize. Let's put them here. Yes. Let's duplicate the first one to the end. Shift D. Duplicate it. And now back to edit mode. Control Shift E. Nice. Go to the menu. Yes, we have our easy. That's very good. And now let's test our animation. Wow. Just wow. Smooth noise. How about that? isn't that amazing smooth noise and smooth thickness change smooth transparency change so this was it thank you guys for watching uh, check my gom road check my files there the paid files are all linked to tutorials on this channel so watch the tutorials learn blender and buy files to support the channel thank you for watching and see you in another video peace